begin with the one and only, the most talk about George Calando. Yeah. Good day, sir. Thank you. As a female, being gender sensitive, how many female staff do you have? Mm, personally, first of all, I believe in more. When it comes to managerial positions, I believe in women. Uh, I realize that men are very, 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 very uh, envious. Mm -hmm. You employ men who come to your institution and they want to be like you overnight. Yes. Women have learned to trust more women because they have some part of their heart they feel for you. Mm -hmm. Although there are some that are criminals also. Mm -hmm. We've had some of them they are criminals, so we, got, we, we dismiss them. But on the average, women are more reliable when it comes to my duress case than men. Sure. Yeah. So we got, as a speaker, I think we have about 50 women within our employ. Hi, my name is Priscilla Abram Cooper. I'm the Managing Director of Executive Inn, a hotel to the register in the Republic of Liberia. And it's owned by Attorney George B. Kalani Senior. Um, Mr. Kalano is a God-fearing person. He's one of the biggest business tycoons in Liberia. He's a family man. And, you know, I like to look at him like a simple person because he's down to earth. And he has provided jobs for the ordinary Liberians, you know, far and near in the city because he has businesses um, almost all over Liberia and he has hundreds of, of employees. If a typical Liberian man is trying to make it, we, instead of, you know, riding around and help him or her to grow, we fight to bring them down. It's like the crab mentality, you know, when, when, when you have crab, you know, in, in a little a bucket or pen or whatever, and one of, you see one of the crabs try to go up, the all of the rest of them will try to pull them, pull you know that particular one down. That's how it is in Liberia. We 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 don't you know support each other. We like to support the the foreigners. You know, even if you if you from the sub region, maybe Af Africa's Ghana, Nigeria, the support they will give they will give the man that is outside. It won't be equal to what they're gonna give you know our fellow uh, uh, fellow Africans. You know, and that's. That's one of the reasons I think Liberia hasn't grown to where we wanted to be yet. So we need to change our mindset. Mr. Kalano is, Attorney Kalano rather, is strong. And because he has God, that is why, you know, that is why he's been going, moving from one place to the other. Because I tell you, I don't have the heart he has. Had it been me, I think God forbid I would have died from heart attack. Because when you sit here, one minute you hear, you know, something scandalous on your name and people just run with it, whether, whether it's true or not. Liberians wouldn't want to get up tomorrow and see that, oh, you know, something tragic has happened to this person. If you are succeeding, no one's going to get the news. But the, the least evil thing that's going to come up for you would be, you know, whether, you, whether they're going to get money or whatever, they, they're running with the issue. They, nobody got time. They just want to see each other hurting. And he's a strong man. And his God fearing, those the, the evil things that they say about him, you don't have an ounce of truth in them. Anybody who know him from, from, from in depth will tell you that he will give the last quote on his back to help his fellow men, that the kind of person he is. Well, my name is Miss Asaku Fufana. I'm the manager for Kalano Gas Station opposite 540. I have close to 11 persons working with me, two girls, now boys. Uh, we are satisfied with our salary. We take pay on time. We does not have problem with our salary. So we say thank you to Kalano Group of Company. This is Tawa Hill of Magibi County. It's the CEO for this area is George, George B. Kalano. So in this station alone, you have like four to five people operating here, right? Sure. And uh, the, the five people, are they being paid by the management? Yes. Working with Kalando Petro Station, uh, do you like it or you don't like it? I like it. I uh, there like are so it. many bad names, bad thoughts about Kalando 
inch off. Uh, does it affect you? Does it bother you? Mm, yeah, most of the time it bothers me. Man. But what do you see your boss to be? A good person or a bad person? Good person. How good is he? he talk to people nicely, you know. Every time he can talk to the customer. Yeah. My name is Eric Morris. I uh, work with the Galano Petroleum Company and I'm the supervisor for this central office, Congo Town Opposite SOS. I've been working here for more than three years and I have about 15 staff. I sound here for five drivers, four pump attendants, four security and a janitor. And we work here together with a very cordial relationship. Yeah, I work with Kalando for more than three years, and my experience, although there have been some up and down, but I have not experienced anything like salary delay or cutting down salary or other stuff. But I believe that Carano is a humble man. He has a good working relationship because over the years I've been working with him, I've studied with him, I've been with him throughout, and I've not experienced anything like salary delay or what have you. We are presently at the headquarters of Carano Petrol Station, and we're going to be speaking with one of the attendants tell us about the services and the working relationship with Calendo management. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Um, my name is Wilfred Barkley, yeah. working at Calendo Gas Station, SOS Congoton Headquarters. SOS Congoton Headquarters. How long have you been working here? Um, this is my, my, my third month. This is your third month? Yeah. Okay, within the third three months you've worked here, uh, what has the relationship been with the management? Do you have problem with the management? Well, probably nothing like any problem because from the time, of course, we, we took over together. This is the new management. We took over together. I didn't make the old management, but from a previous month of the two of the new manager, there is no problem. Have they been going you? Do they delay your payments? No, actually, they pay me on time. Okay, so what can you say about Calando Gas Station? Um, very a very good gas station. Of course, the money itself is very good, man. Despite the, 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 the whatever thing people can say about him, everybody has their own character. But for me, for my past three months with Kalando, I always get my salary on time. Make sure every in the morning when I comes, the work, when he comes in the morning, receiving well, talk to me well, call me in the office, say my man, you have to hold the job with your two hands. Nothing to scare up, nothing, nothing to do. Just focus on the job, make sure you're honest. One day you also become manager as a way that the young man become manager. In 1983, all the way to 1989, no one could say anything about me. I remember I used to sell cigarettes for my sister-in-law. She was working. She was working at uh, the Roberts International Airport. She would bring the cigarette from the duty free. No one knew me. I would go to the market with the bag hanging. And no later, I slept on the floor. I used to spread the bed sheet on the floor to sleep. I used to tutor children for one hour a month. I had 30 students. That's how I started earning a living. That was how I started paying myself. For over one year, I tutored people children. I have five different areas I went. Some areas you have five children, some places four, some children one on one. And I will generate like 30 hours at the end of every month. I rode bus for more than four years. And no one said nothing about me, but I went God when I opened my business in 19. We already started small in 1994. But when we opened, when I went to the US and came, opened the Kailondo Travel Agency, we were booming. People were happy at first until all the way walking nobody had time for me stay i was friendly with all the fashions 2003 the devil fooled me i went to so from party i go 
put myself into politics and when my wahala starts. And when people start saying, oh, time for Timbo, me. I'm a my former rebel. I fought for Prince Johnson. Nobody said nothing but me all the time. You understand? But by the time they saw me that I was part of the formation of this force, group of young men who believe in uh, the president today, that he was the best person to uh, lead this country, that when my wahala started. Then people started running propaganda between, which is not part of my life, to gain favor. Who oh, you see that yeah? This is what John can say about you. This is what John can say about you. And it's sad. So some of the things I look for for myself. If that black continue 2010 now, the money alone I've spent on Western on politics, I would have paid additional tanks, gas station. Today I would have been only more than 20 gas stations in all the other counties because I have the land, I have additional five land I have not constructed nothing on, but I have everything. That money I have wasted. If I just did go election, it was enough to pay the other, complete the other five gas stations. But this is what life is. And they come with challenges. The more you are blessed, the more challenges you have. But I think it is not late. I've taken the right decision to go back to preach the world and leave politics and watch my life. Watch, although even after leaving politics, people are still after me saying, all oh, the worst things, I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking God to be here. You're pretty me. I'm not involved in politics. I told who will be the next president here. Who, I, I don't care. All I want is for Liberia to prosper under George Weir. Children of Calando, and uh, we are on the sea now with the speedboats. We're having a ride, and it's gonna be wonderful. Yeah, this is the children's side. Yeah, I'm gonna be with the boss now. We're going upstairs on the second deck to be with the CEO. I remain Osmani all the way from Capsule TV Nigeria, and we are here in Liberia, in the heart of Morovia, with that man, George Calando of so many offices, so many companies, an employee, an employer. He is self-employed. So nobody employs him, but he employs a lot of Liberians. He has given jobs to a lot of Liberians, and he's still giving jobs to a lot of Liberians, and he's still creating more jobs for the Liberians, and not just for the Liberians alone. His dream is big. His dream is for the African continent to be one of the best places to visit. And guess what? This is the same speedboat that has that big talk that somebody died on it and so fortunate we are riding on the same speedboat now as you can see we are all wearing our security safety jacket like you can see the pilot is with a safety jacket you can see our female presenter here she's with a safety jacket even the camera crew behind see the people behind behind the camera the people behind there they are still with a safety jacket and when we're talking about safety jacket, it is what is recommended for 
everybody that is going on the sea, we have it on them, and we all have it. We're having a pleasure ride. It's fun. It's fun to be here. It's safety to be here. And when you're talking about that, man, Judge Carolina, you need to get close. You need to get to know him. You need to get close to him. So that you can define who he really is. Uh, it's no one else but the CEO. And he's riding up. Can you please let him know who's riding? Who's riding? <laughs> Tell him who's riding us. I'm about to the judge me, Kylo, no Sylvia. The son of my when my friend got drowned, somebody that helped me transform all my businesses. Our own people try to make me look like a demon. Somebody who in just one year could go up to 10.8 million United dollars. so simple to pilot it's like you're driving an no. automatic car all you do is to press the speed and it, it moves by itself it can move like that it will move all you do make sure the boat is in the center of the water because of the deepness you understand of the engine but it's so simple for someone to take the thing that you want to harm uh, a friend of yours that helped you greatly in life, in the sad. But this is Africa, I know envy and jealousy is all over. But our country is worse, more especially when you, God has blessed you, people just wish to see the worst about you. I still consider myself a friend of the Oregon family in Nigeria. I look forward to that day when we all will be friends. There were so many days I went to their house, the wife cooked. Always sit there, drink, enjoy, play music, watch. You know, my friends to love African music, a whole lot. African movies, I want to watch the movies. Let's go on there, most of them go to the nightclub. And uh, enjoy ourselves. Let's say we go home again. And uh, we all, we don't ask God gives life and God takes away life. Uh, and we are associated with the place we are in this country. How, how real is this gold? Are they like how many carat gold is this? This is 18 carat gold with diamonds all engraved on it. This and this diamonds, is diamonds also. This is okay, gold, gold. gold. This is gold. gold yeah. I have so many. But this, this you, you, you're putting on if we wait, if we rate it, is it right now? Up to, is it up right to one thousand dollar, two thousand dollar? Mm. Like I'm wearing over sixty thousand US dollars. Wow, my fingers, the watch, everything. Yeah. Sixty thousand US dollars. Yeah. Okay, this is the GPS. This is the GPS. And this is the oil gauge. Oil gauge. This is the battery gauge. This is the speedometer. Yeah. This is the depth. The depth. This is the depth. It gives you the depth of the of the of the of the sea. Yeah. And this is the. Oh. The level of which the Oh, that's wonderful. And this is the speedometer. Uh, and this is the temperature, water gauge. This is the water gauge and temperature. This is, the, uh, a this is a fire gauge. So you can see this is not just and and this is the uh 